The Philomathean Society of the University of Pennsylvania is a collegiate literary society, the oldest student group at the university, and a claimant to the title of the oldest continuously existing literary society in the United States. Founded in 1813, its goal is to promote the learning of its members and to increase the academic prestige of the university. Philomathean is derived from the Greek philomath, which means, a lover of learning. The motto of the Philomathean Society is Sic Itur ad Astra, Latin for, thus we proceed to the stars. History Philo, as members refer to the society, was founded October 2, 1813, by all 13 members of the junior class, its original purpose being, "...the advancement of learning", a counterweight and complement to Penn's academic coursework. In the first meeting, the title of moderator was chosen for the society's presiding officer. Two censors morum were appointed by the third meeting, who were given the responsibility, maintained to this day, of fining members for various real or imaginary infractions. Philo's first meeting was on Friday night, at which time it would remain up to the present day. Minutes of the society's meetings have been kept relatively faithfully in large leather-bound volumes since the first meeting. Members still sign the recorder's roll upon their initiation into the society, following the tradition started by the founders. Early meetings were dominated by spirited debates and literary exercises where members would present original research, essays, or literary productions. Both practices have continued through the present day. When the University of Pennsylvania moved its campus from 9th Street to West Philadelphia in 1872, four rooms at the top of College Hall were specifically built for the use of the society and its rival Zelosophic Society. After the first collapse of the Zelosophic Society in 1872, the former Zello rooms reverted to Philo. The society is credited with helping to found entire academic departments, including American Civilization, Comparative Literature, and History of Science, and many campus groups and publications, including the Daily Pennsylvanian and the Mask and Wig Club. In 1858, the Society published the first complete English translation of the Rosetta Stone. The work was performed solely by three undergraduate members, Charles R. Hale, S. Huntington Jones, and Henry Morton. The translation quickly sold out two editions, and was internationally hailed as a monumental work of scholarship. In 1988, the British Museum bestowed the honour of including the Philomathean Rosetta Stone Report in its select bibliography of the most important works ever published on the Rosetta Stone. The Philomathean Society maintains a full-scale cast of the stone in its meeting room, along with several original lithograph prints of the report. In 1916, Philo became the first pen group to require its members take an oath not to discriminate on the basis of race, creed, and religion. In 1948, the society voted to admit women as full members, prompting the headline: "Philo hits rock bottom, admits women." The society vehemently defended the decision more than 25 years before women were admitted to the university proper. In 1927, overcrowding at the university led the Philos to agree to vacate the space in College Hall in exchange for temporary quarters in Houston Hall until more class space could be found. Houston Hall was not an ideal location, space constraints and building policy, especially the 11.30 p.m. curfew, severely limited Philo traditions. As a result, society membership decreased, a trend further exacerbated by the outbreak of World War II, when Houston Hall was taken over by the U.S. Navy of part of its officer training program, and former Philo rooms were requisitioned for storage. 
The society had dwindled to a single member, Hilary Putnam, who tried to preserve the Philomathian customs and arranged informal meetings in members' apartments. After the war, the society held more formal meetings and grew in membership, but it was not until 1951, under the direction of moderator Charles Fine Ludwig, that the old pre-war customs were revived. Ludwig reacquired the Philomathian archives and reintroduced academic attire, consistent meeting minutes, a regular literary exercise, and an official lecture series, among many other Philomathian customs. Ludwig also established the tradition of Philo's graduates, or senior members, participating in the society's activities and taking an ongoing interest in the welfare of the society. Finally, in 1967, after a determined campaign of lobbying university administrators for permission and senior members for donations, the society returned to its beloved Philomathian halls on the fourth floor of College Hall, where it has remained with brief absences for maintenance until the present day. Topic present activities In addition to its eight general meetings, Philo also has regular afternoon teas with professors and sponsors other academic events such as lecture series, a film series, and other events. Most of these events center around inviting one or more Penn professors to the halls to present on their research. Society members are given freedom to plan events fitting their personal and intellectual interests, which has led to events as varied as art exhibitions, chamber concerts, math olympiads, and the Poe Vespertil. The Society has published several books, including, most recently, the Philomathian Society Anthology of Poetry in honor of Daniel Hoffman, Hoffman, a former professor at the university and a distinguished poet in his own right, had brought many renowned poets and authors, including John Updike, Seamus Heaney, Joyce Carol Oates, and Yevgeny Yevtushenko, to read in the Philomathian halls. On 16 February 2010, Philo hosted a public screening of the 1971 internationally televised debate between philosophers Noam Chomsky and Michel Foucault. Philo's was the first public screening of the debate in the world since the original 1971 broadcast. Debate topics included human nature, justice, creativity, and war. In 2013, the Society also hosted a QA session with Blackwater founder, Eric Prince. In addition, Philo intermittently publishes Philomel, a literary magazine. Topic Membership Membership in the Society is by application. All currently enrolled undergraduate and graduate students at the University of Pennsylvania are eligible for membership except in their final semester of study. Applications consist of three parts, an interview with four to five members of the society, a presentation on a topic of the applicant's choice to a general meeting of the society, and a submission of creative or critical value. Members are elected once each academic semester by the society at large. The society is governed by a cabinet of nine officers the moderator, first censor, second censor, scriber, recorder, treasurer, librarian, archivist, and annual oration director. The first four, often termed the bench, in reference to their position during meetings, are attired in full academic gown at all society meetings, held eight times per semester on the top floor of College Hall, on Friday evenings. The position of annual oration director was added in the early 2010s to provide additional support for the increased role of the annual oration. It is the only position that has a year-long tenure, rather than semester-long. Topic: Annual orations. Every year, Philo presents a public annual oration to the university, given by a prominent figure in the arts and sciences. Recent orations have included the following: 
In fall 2018, Philo hosted Michael Gazzaniga, who talked about his pioneering work in cognitive neuroscience and his proposal of the consciousness instinct. In fall 2016, Philo hosted Jane Goodall, who talked about her career as a primatologist and her current mission of ecological conservation. In spring 2016, Philo hosted John Mearsheimer, who talked about failures of American foreign policy in the Middle East. In 2015, Philo hosted Sylvia Nasser, who talked in Houston Hall about the revival of Marxism. In 2014, Philo hosted Julian Treasure. On 14 March 2013, Philo hosted Richard Dawkins, an evolutionary biologist and atheist. A video of the annual oration can be found here. On 6 April 2011, Philo hosted noted environmental historian Jared Diamond. Diamond presented to more than 1,000 members of the university and local community on the role of water in the collapse or survival of societies, building on his influential book, Collapse. On 3 March 2010, Philo hosted feminism, gender, and sexuality theorist Judith Butler. Butler presented for approximately two hours on performativity and precarity to more than 400 University of Pennsylvania students and faculty. On 23 April 2009, Philo hosted American literary theorist, legal scholar, and New York Times columnist Stanley Fish. Drawing from his then unpublished book Save the World on Your Own Time, Fish argued that professors' relationships with students should be strictly academic in nature. On 16 April 2008, Philo hosted philosopher Daniel Dennett, who spoke on the role of cultural evolution. On 6 April 2005, Philo hosted former United States intelligence agent and counterterrorism specialist Malcolm Wrightson Nance. On 7 April 2004, Philo hosted playwright Arthur Miller. Miller delivered scenes from his satirical work Resurrection Blues to a more than 800 Penn students, faculty, and staff at Penn's Zellerbach Theatre. On the 11th of February 2003, Philo hosted novelist and essayist Salman Rushdie. Rushdie discussed many of his literary works, political views, and personal anecdotes in Penn's Irvine Auditorium. On 10 April 2002, Philo hosted journalist Joe Klein, author of Primary Colors, the once anonymously authored investigation into the 1992 Democratic Party presidential primary. Klein discussed Bill Clinton's presidency and contemporary American politics. On 1 May 2001, Philo hosted physicist Brian Greene. Green explained general relativity, quantum mechanics, and super string theory to approximately 400 Penn students, faculty, and staff in Penn's Houston Hall. On 14 April 1994, Philo hosted author, social critic, and feminist Camille Paglia. Paglia discussed free speech and criticized the academic establishment in front of approximately 500 attendees. On the 22nd of February 1993, Philo hosted Jean Bertrand Aristide, president of Haiti. On the 17th of April 1990, Philo hosted author Joyce Carol Oates. Oates read one of her own short stories, Family, and discussed its unconventional structure. On the 1st of October 1988, Philo hosted Pulitzer Prize-winning author William Styron. Styron debunked romanticized notions of war and read a selection from his upcoming semi-autobiographical novel on World War II. Topic: <laughs> Notable Philomathians. 
Philomathians have included at least seven United States representatives, three United States senators, two ambassadors, and the founder of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Daily Pennsylvanian, Mask and Wig and the Pennsylvania Punch Bowl. Prominent Philomathians have included Thomas M. Pettit, 1813, director of the U.S. Mint Henry Dilworth Gilpin, 1819, U.S. Attorney General Robert James Walker, 1819, U.S. Senator from Missouri, U.S. Secretary of the Treasury, Governor of Kansas and debating nemesis of Henry Clay John Cadwallader, 1821, U.S. Representative from Pennsylvania 1855–1857, U.S. Judge for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania 1858–1879 George Sharswood, 1828, Founder, University of Pennsylvania School of Law and Chief Justice of Pennsylvania George Augustus Bicknell, Jr., 1831, U.S. Representative from Indiana 1877–1881 Henry Morton, 1859, 162nd Moderator, member of the Committee to Translate the Rosetta Stone, and founding president of the Stevens Institute of Technology 1870–1902 Persifor Fraser, 1862, professor of chemistry and pioneering chemist, geologist, and naturalist William Pepper, 1862, University Provost 1881–1894 Charles Custis Harrison, 1862, 176th moderator, University Provost 1894–1910 Robert Adams, Jr., 1869, 196th Moderator, Pennsylvania State Senator 1883–1886, U.S. Minister to Brazil 1889–1890, U.S. Representative from Pennsylvania 1893 Henry Galbraith Ward, 1870, 199th Moderator, Judge of U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit 1907–1933 W. Attlee Burpee, 1878, Founder of Burpee Seeds Eli Kirk Price, 1881, Founder, Philadelphia Museum of Art George Wharton Pepper, 1887, U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania, author and chronicler of the Senate Ellis Robbins, 1904, businessman and public servant based in Rhodesia, ennobled as Baron Robbins in 1958 Alfred Bester, 1934, recipient of the first Hugo Award for a science fiction novel, The Demolished Man 1953, science fiction Grand Master 1988, and author of The Stars My Destination 1956. Bertram Korn, 1939, historian and senior rabbi at Reform Congregation Knesseth Israel. Carl Kazan, 1940, Director of the Institute for Advanced Study, MIT Professor, and University Trustee Emeritus Hilary Putnam, 1948, Philosopher, Walter Beverly Pearson Professor of Modern Mathematics and Mathematical Logic at Harvard University, and past President of the American Philosophical Association Arlen Specter, 1951, U.S. Senator from Pennsylvania Richard Wertman, 1953, Professor of Neuroscience at MIT Albert Fishlow, 1956, 406th Moderator, Professor of Economics at the University of California, Berkeley and former Director of the Columbia Institute of Latin American Studies and Center for the Study of Brazil at Columbia, and former Senior Fellow for International Economics at the Council of Foreign Relations. Gary Goldschneider, 1959, Pianist, Composer, and Writer. Sue Ann Kahn, 1961, flautist, professor at Columbia University. Mark Hosenball, 1974, investigative reporter at Reuters. Michael Bamberger, 1982, Sports Illustrated senior writer. 
Karen Lisner, 1994, novelist, columnist, and editor-in-chief of The Hudson Reporter. V. Victor Wari, 1995, New York Times best-selling author and Broadway theater producer. Other Philomathian societies Several other societies share the Philomathian name. Among them are Union College's Philomathian Society was founded in 1793 as the Calliopean while Union was still known as the Schenectady Academy. The name was later changed to the Philomathian Society in 1795. FIMU, the second oldest secret organization for women, was founded as the Philomathian Society in 1852 at Wesleyan College in Macon, Georgia. New York University's Philomathian Society was founded in 1832. Phillips Academy's Philomathian Society, founded in 1825, is the second oldest high school debate society in the nation. The Philomates Association is the largest international academic association, with 23,000 members. It meets every year in Italy. Catawba College of Salisbury, North Carolina, also charters a Philomathian Society. The group was created in 1851, after the founding of the college, and served as a society for debate and fellowship for young men. Soon after its inception, the Philomathian Society began a library in their home because the college did not yet have one. In the early 1900s the society became inactive, but was resurrected in 1991 to serve in a different capacity. The all-male society now serves as a group dedicated to scholarship, culture, character, and service. The motto of the college. Membership is by invitation only. The Philomathian Literary Society was established in 1842 at Erskine College. A number of South Carolinian politicians, theologians, lawyers, writers, and thinkers were inducted as members or honored with membership. It is one of Erskine's four literary societies today. Founded in 1849, the University of Virginia's Philomathian Society formed as a splinter group from the Washington Literary Society and Debating Union. Willamette University in Salem, Oregon, boasts the oldest Philomathian society in the West. It was founded in 1856. Washita College, now Washita Baptist University, had a Philomathian literary society that existed from 1888 to 1931. The Philos and their rivals, the Hermesians, were the result in a split in the college's original literary society, the Adelphian Circle, formed in 1886. Other historic collegiate literary societies The Philalexian Society of Columbia University The American Whig Cleosophic Society of Princeton University The Philodemic Society of Georgetown University The Jefferson Literary and Debating Society of the University of Virginia the Union Philanthropic Literary Society of Hampton Sydney College The Dialectic and Philanthropic Societies of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill The Demosthenian Literary Society of the University of Georgia in Athens equals <laughs> equals notes <laughs>